How's it going everybody? My name is Big John and this is a video that I didn't think I was going to have to make. Um, so today, early this morning at around 7.20, 7.25, I was headed to uh, work. Uh, it's a new job that I have. Uh, I work at an assembling company. Uh, I put together stuff and everything and uh, since I started this new job, I've been a little, uh, I've had to get a new sleep schedule. So I've been trying to get my sleep in order, so I haven't really been posting any videos uh, for a little bit. But uh, this morning, around 7.20, 7.25, I, uh, I, well, you know what, I'll, I'll take you back to the beginning. At around 6.30, I woke up, and... I got ready, got dressed, got completely ready for work, got all my stuff ready, had 15 minutes to sit and relax before I went to work. So I got in my car and I started driving to work. And about 7.25, I ended up in a pretty bad car accident. Uh, I had uh, flipped my vehicle and everything. Uh, and uh, I guess what ha what had happened was I ended up nodding off. I uh, I fell asleep behind the wheel, and when I opened my eyes, I noticed there was a car in front of me that had uh, put on its turn signal, and it was uh, slowing down to stop uh, to turn. And uh, I I didn't notice this until it was too late, so I swerved to miss the vehicle, and uh, thank God I did. But uh, I swerved to miss the vehicle, and when I did, I lost control of the vehicle, tried to correct it, uh, pulled it back into the other lane, back into the next lane, back into the other lane, and finally, I drove off into the median, hit the dirt, and then flipped the vehicle. And uh, it was the uh, first time I've ever been in an accident, so it was pretty pretty intense. Uh, I, I, I sat there for a good uh, few seconds upside down and like kinda in shock of what just happened and uh, so I sat there I finally got my uh, uh, bearings back and I, I undid my seatbelt sat there got out of the vehicle safe and look no damage no bruises no cuts no nothing uh, I I got a little bit of a shoulder ache. That's it. The, I didn't hurt my head. Didn't hurt my neck. Nothing. But uh, I can I can say by God's grace, it was uh, it, it was a miracle I didn't get hurt. Uh, the lady who was turning, she stopped and uh, she asked if I needed help. I said I'm okay. She called nine one one. The sheriff showed up pretty quick. Uh, within. A few minutes, he was there. So it was a pretty shocking thing to happen to me, and it was it was kind of eye opening. You know, God can throw us these curveballs out of nowhere, and we just got to pick ourselves back up and dust ourselves off and go on praising God. You know, but uh. This morning was a pretty intense morning. Uh, I ended up going to the doctor, uh, and I talked to my uh, uh, talked to the doctor. They said they didn't see any issues except for my shoulder. I have a very very light sprain, very light. Uh, they gave me two days off from work uh, because of it. They also gave me a sling, but I decided not to wear that uh, because it was just making it more uncomfortable for me. Um, tomorrow I'll probably be pretty darn sore. Uh, it wasn't until after the, uh, uh, the wrecker came to flip my vehicle over that I decided, hey, I should video this. So I flipped my car this morning.
no injuries just got a little shook up my uh, insurance is covering the uh, tow truck but uh yeah chances are this vehicle probably won't run again Let's see the major damage on the other side Look. See all the trash that I had in my vehicle, and now she's flipped. All the water's running out of my uh, cooling. See the hood, nice and dented. It's one of those things that shows that life is really fragile. Uh, luckily, I was wearing my seatbelt. Luckily, it was an SUV, so it's pretty safe altogether. Airbags went off. Uh, pretty, pretty okay. Just a little, just a little shaken. First time I've ever had an accident ever. And yeah, I saw that. It's uh, for my radiator. But uh, just one of those things. God decided to throw me a curveball this morning. But uh. Nobody was hurt in the accident, so it's a big plus. Uh, I will keep you updated. So I videoed them pulling the vehicle over. I also got a few pictures and stuff like that that you've probably already seen. Um, I got a few pictures. I got uh, a video of him flipping it over, talking about that I had gotten in the accident. And... Uh, but uh, all together, it, it hit me so quickly. I, it didn't really pop into my brain until later to uh, actually make a video on it. All right, so I'm out here now with the vehicle. It's, uh, it's pretty banged up, so I'll give you a quick tour of just how banged it up it is. I'll give you this. I'll give you the good side first, show you all the... Uh, it's, it's not too damaged on the right side, so I, I, I did a little doodling on the side of it because, you know, I thought it'd be kind of funny, and it is. Some people don't think so, but uh, so here's the right side of the vehicle. You can see there's some damage right here. Uh, there's some damage up close to the roof, so I think it just kind of stopped rolling right about this point. Uh, so you come over here, I, I'll flip for you, I thought that was hilarious. And uh, you come over to the front side of the vehicle, and it is pretty darn dented. It takes a lot to uh, actually get this open now, but uh, the not too bad. It's uh, really scratched up and dented up, but honestly, that could be probably fixed ish um, like at least get most of the dents out but over here on the right side is where all the good damage is and right there that's where I was sitting when I hit the ground uh, when this thing started to roll uh, both the tires are off the rims uh, this running board down here got knocked off and uh let's see the the only piece of glass that got knocked out was this right here which was very surprising to me because i mean i've got i've got glass up on the roof as well but it's not it's not even shattered but uh i got somebody coming to pick it pick the vehicle up now uh but go on to the back side barely touched and I thought that was pretty nice by God's grace I'm alive which is couldn't be any truer and uh look at that that's beautiful lighting for just this moment but uh he's, he's got a winch yeah he's got a winch he'll be able to just drag it up I think he will I gotta take the parking brake off but yep that's 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 the vehicle and no injuries by 
some means. I mean, it's a pretty sturdy vehicle. Uh, all the airbags deployed, but uh, that's that's I survived. Uh, I was just videoing it for my sake, but uh, uh thank goodness, no, uh, nobody was hurt. I, I didn't hit anyone. Uh, when I got out of the vehicle, all I could think about is like I came came that close to possibly ending someone's life because I fell asleep. And I, I don't know why I fell asleep behind the wheel. I mean, I got a good amount of sleep that I went to bed at around 11, 11.30 maybe, and got up at 6.30. It's a pretty good amount of sleep. But I guess I was just, my body was tired and thought I needed more. But, uh, uh, as soon as I lost, uh, as soon as I saw that vehicle, I was wide awake. You know, it's best, uh, best, best caffeine you can drink right there is, uh, good eye, eye opening right there. But, uh, in the video, you can probably hear my voice, uh, a little bit shaky. I called my mom and, uh, I, uh, told her what was happening. Uh, what had happened, I told her I was fine, and there was no need to worry, but you know how mothers are, they're, they're going to worry anyway, um, so she showed up to pick me up, uh, off the side of the road, uh, no, no issues with the uh, first responders, they, they got there, they checked me out, made sure I was okay, and I, I was fine, just, just barely, I was able to give out my information with no issues. I was fully con uh, fully uh, conscious, no issues with remembering anything, so no brain injuries. I still haven't slept since then, just, you know, just, just to be sure. Uh, but um, I figured that <laughs> I, I, it was after the fact that this happened that I thought about my bucket list, and I remembered that I wrote down on my bucket list cheat death right there and uh, I, I just had to laugh because I mean it's it's kinda of funny uh, you know I, I just put that on there as a uh, joke you know I have so many different crazy things on here I never thought I would actually scratch it out but I guess since it happened I came out of it unscathed. Uh, I talked to the uh, sheriff and he said it's very surprising that you came out of it unscathed as you did because he's seen he's seen wrecks like that before where most of the time the person didn't survive. But uh, I, I came out of it perfectly fine, you know. So that is one thing, another thing that I can cross off my bucket list. So here we go. Cheat death. That is one I can say I will never have to cross out again. Hopefully. <laughs> you know, I got a lot of stuff on here, so you know, swimming with sharks. Hopefully I don't hopefully I don't cheat death then either. But uh it's a it's a very very crazy thing to end up in an accident. Like I mean I had a perfect driving record. Never never had a fender bender. Uh but uh, God, God said, you know what? I don't care about your perfect driving record. You know, you're not. Uh, you're just gonna fall asleep just for now, and then, you know, it's it's just cra crazy instance. You know, I was kind of I was kind of jabbering a little bit <laughs> in uh, when it happened. I was talking to the police officer while he was trying to get my information down. I was just telling him, yeah, man, I, d I didn't. I didn't have an accident before this. I don't know what happened. <laughs> but um, I'm perfectly fine. Uh, uh, I have uh, gotten it uh, all taken care of now. I just got to find me a new vehicle, which uh, that ought to be fun. Yeah. Well, anyway... Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like or comment below. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. God bless.